and welcome back to the studio. It's still cold and I just had to turn my heater off so that you could hear me doing this. So again, we're going to be as quick as we can. I'm going to revisit what I wanted to do last time around and that is a swipe off of a shelf. I've got a shelf over here because I want more of the color to go from side to side and less of the, say, black or white that you would pull in. You may understand what I'm talking about, you may not. If you swiped, you know what I'm talking about with that. I want more of the colors to play in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some white down here that's thinner. I'm going to do a dirty pour of all of these colors here. I'm going to put some black on the ledge and then I'm going to swipe it across. So we'll see what we get. That's the plan and I will not deviate this time. So what we've got today is our basic white. This is gold. These three here are the color shift that we've been talking about lately. The folk art color shift. This is the blue flash. This one is the green flash. And this one is the aqua flash. And if you haven't seen these before, I'll try and get them in the camera so you can get a little idea. That gives you that really cool iridescence. So that's what those three are. This is just a warm brown that I have and I made too much so I'm not going to use a lot of this. And then the black. Uh, these are both, uh, this one's Liquitex Mars Black in Floetrol. Everything else is in Floetrol. Um, actually everything here is in Floetrol. I'm going to add dimethicone, silicone to these four. I'm going to do the two blues, the green, and the gold with the dimethicone to see what happens. And so that's the plan. switch it up and we're going to go with the heavy-duty silicone spray. I'm going to put some in the brown.
ledge that I had there. I still got some black in the bottom of it, but you know what? That's fine. I'm good with that. I didn't want a lot. And as you can see, we're getting some nice action here with the cells. And you'll notice I didn't move it very much. I let it flow one way real quick and then a little bit back just to keep the cells puffy. I don't see a lot of that dark blue in there, but I know that this will darken as it dries. There's a little bit of the aqua right there. I think that's the aqua. The brown mixing in, kind of making it more organic. I'm kind of digging it. These, I don't know why I chose these colors today. I just grabbed them. So I knew I wanted to use those three color shifts. The other ones were just kind of a secondary thought. But yeah, I'm not unhappy with it. I'm kind of liking it a lot. Of course, you never know until it dries. I love how the black went in. I do really dig how that worked, so I'm going to be doing that again for sure. Yeah, we're starting to see some definition now. And the more it dries, the more I hope we'll see. Let's hope. Okay, so back when it's dry. Okay, so we're back 24 hours later. And yep, due to the temperatures in the studio, you can see in the center there, not totally dry yet. I'm actually... For some weird reason, um, I'm going to use this one. It's it's not a finished piece, but it's not a report either. The more I look at this, the more I realize what a great base this is going to be for, for multiple layers in other directions. I'll figure it out. But I do have a big collection of fine point archival black paint pens coming. And I'm actually, I've been playing with an idea for a couple of years now on and off. And I think I'm going to try it with this. And that is kind of adding a Zen Tangle to this if you know what that is. But anyway, that's where we ended up this week. Got a few things poking out there. And obviously it's a little matted because that's how it dries. But once I put a varnish and or most likely resin, all of those colors will define and pop right back out again. So yeah, there's some good ones in there. Definitely we didn't luck out and get a unicorn where it was done and, you know, done in one. But this will be a good base. Thank you for your support. Thanks for subscribing and sharing these videos. It means everything to me and your comments. I love them. So keep them coming. And I'll be back with another one. Mm -hmm.